Hey y'all, Afrologic blog number six. And yo, this is about to be so short because I didn't do an outline. Um, I've been, seriously I've been so busy with work and with writing. And I mean, I, I really like from that last blog I did where I told you I yeah, had really kind of was slipping off my game. I really have up, up, upped my game. But Afrologic blog is also my game. I tell you, I'm going to figure out a method of this, but it probably really won't stick until April when my when my schedule stabilizes. So, man, bear with me, y'all. Uh. So anyway, um, Afrologic blog number six. I had no material, and so last night what I did so I could create some material was put a post on Facebook. The post said, "Quick question." Would you compromise your convictions for money? Of course, the majority of people said they would not. A um, couple people joke, jokingly was like, well, how much money, you know? And then some people was like, um, yeah, basically very seriously, depending on which conviction it is and define conviction. And conviction are the things that you feel to your soul. Like, would you sell your race out for a billion dollars? Would you push your kids down a fucking, I'm sorry, I never cussed on these, but <laughs> would you push your kids down a well? Um, would you um, renounce God, your God, whoever your God is, would you renounce your God for however many million billion dollars? And, you know, I got responses kind of like, well, I could renounce God and then turn around and, and, and just change my mind. And see, I'm not a religious person, I'm more of a spiritual person. Um, and I would not say for any amount of money, I hate God. Um, I feel sorry for anybody who would actually sell out their God for money. And I had explained to this person, if you would say that just for X amount of money and then go back and change your mind and you have no faith in your God, whoever your God is, you have no faith in him. And you're not going to keep that money or be happy for very long. Um, this went on and on. You know, and I'm trying to explain to this person, you're basically selling your soul. And if you're willing to sell your soul, I can't fool with you because you don't care enough about you to stand by the, th the things that you believe in. I mean, you don't believe in anything truly. And he said beliefs change and beliefs are not concrete. It's very true. Um, all beliefs are right. If you want them to be right, all beliefs are wrong. If you want them to be wrong, because they're not based on fact, I get that. But we got to believe in something or else there's just no point in going through this. If we don't believe in something, and if you got nothing to believe in, you got to believe in you, in you. I mean, just like the song, you got to believe something. Why not believe in me? And that's the truth. You got to believe something. So if, if you don't have some higher power, higher thing, um, whatever it is that you look to and believe is looking over you, then then what what are you basing your your rights and wrongs on? Which are all relative. I understand that. I understand that. But it's gotta come from even if you if Satan is your God, you still that's the core of your of your morality. So I believe if a person would sell their soul, they sell you. Um, they sell you out. This is somebody that you can't trust, which is not exactly what I posted it for. Honestly, I hoped that it was gonna be basically a moot post and because all of my friends have principles <laughs> and all of my friends are have pride enough in whatever it is that you know that floats their boat they have enough pride to to say no i would not sell myself out and i found out that most of my friends do i found out that a few of them don't um and, and i'm like between east and west on it because I can't have that kind of energy around me if I have to always wonder if um, if this person, if I should trust this person because this person could very could, could play me. Anybody could play you. I understand that. But when you have no spine, but you and that was the thing that I really was proud about in the post of when people were against what 
we were saying, because I, I don't post anything just for people to say amen to me. I don't need nobody to say amen to me. I know what I'm talking about. And I'm the shit anyway. No. <laughs> um, but I don't care when people, it don't bother me when people disagree with me, because that's the point, to get different perspectives. But I must admit, this one, because it let me know who a lot of people were. But I'm saying, um, I was. I have to say that those who stood their ground and, and let the world know that they would sell themselves out, they didn't back down. They, they was diligent and no, I will sell myself out. They weren't, weren't saying those words, but it's the same thing. They was just basically like, I will sell myself out and I don't care what you say because I will sell myself out. And so um, I'm like, right on, bro. Can't I can't fool with you like that no more, but hey, you got the right to be a sellout. This America, you can be whatever you want to be. You you can be a sellout if you want. That's your that's your choice to do so. And then it went from that to you shouldn't judge people based on what they say. You will be let down every time. And I'm like, this is my thing. I have nothing to nothing else to judge you on except for what you say and, and what and how you act because they do reflect you. And I think that when someone says to you that I have no convictions, I'm not compassionate about anything, I have no passions, um, I'm, I'm just as good as the highest bidder, I think you better judge that person because they will play you, they will sell you out. They are dangerous. It's a dangerous person to be around. So I got to get back to work. But that is my story. And, um, and I'm not putting anybody down because I respect the right for everybody to be who they want to be but I do not respect the sellout I respect that that's what you want to be and you have the right to be a sellout but I don't respect a sellout so that's one thing and um and and if you it, you can't be a benefit to this world if you don't have things that you absolutely stand by and things that you absolutely won't do so you gotta find yourself and you gotta decide what am I about? What am I going through this whole human experience for? What's the point of it all? You have to figure that out. You have to figure out how am I a benefit to my community, to society, to my family? How am I a benefit to myself? And you can't do that if you don't have a soul. That's my story. Y'all have a great one. Um, check out Afrologic.com because I be dropping knowledge like this all the time. <laughs> but, no, check out Afrologic. Um, subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe to my blog. Um, tell your friends to follow my blog and um, my IG. I am Brandy Badass with two Ds and two Ss, of course. Or you can catch me as Afrologic Blog on IG. Um, we ain't gonna really mess with Facebook because I can't let anybody else in on Facebook right now. But um, I will highly try. Y'all have a great one. Deuces.